What's going on everyone? Today I am bringing you a little bit different type of video. This is going to be a tutorial and kind of uh, little tips that I've learned along the way of doing grip art. So uh, as if you've been following me for a while, you know that I've been doing grip tape videos occasionally, setting up a new board or something like that, and I just tried to mix it up with my designs a little bit, but instead of me just doing a normal time lapse like I normally do with those videos, I said I'm going to uh, teach you guys some of the things that I've learned along the way of doing this and some of the best tips that not only will help you hopefully do a little bit better when drawing, but outside of the drawing world too, like where you should buy markers at, how you should have your area prepped before you do it and all. It's it's not nothing too fancy, but it's just something that will help that I never had when I was doing it and that I learned like, oh, I should probably do this for next time. So, so before we get started, um, I will tell you guys what I'm going to be drawing, and this is right here. This is Tracer from Overwatch. She's the main cover of the game, and uh, she's just a character that I like playing as the most just because of her abilities and stuff. But, so the very first thing you need to do is decide what you're going to be drawing. So, find the image that you're going to be copying, or if you're freehanding it, by all means, you can do that too. But uh, what I do is I find the image of what I'm going to be doing, and I study the colors of it and stuff. And then after I do that, I just bring my phone with me, and I keep the image saved. I just look at for what colors that I need at the store that I go to, and then you get the markers. And that way, it will re reduce the amount of money that you pay, so you don't just randomly buy colors that you're not going to use, which I've done in the past. What I should say now before this is this is not a type of drawing that you should start off with if this is your first time doing grip art. Um, I would definitely start with something a little bit more simple. This is just a design that I've wanted to do on my grip tape for a while now, and I, it's probably been requested a few times as well, but I'm going to jump into it. I'll show you guys some of the supplies you need, and then we'll get started on it. So as you can see here, these are uh, a bunch of random markers that I've gotten at places like Michael's Craft Stores or any type of other local craft stores that you could probably find around where you live. You could just get them at like a Walmart or something. That's where I first started off getting all mine. The only problem with that is that you may not have as wide of an option as going to like an arts and crafts store because a lot of the markers, the good colors anyways, that you'll need a lot of like black or some other just kind of basic colors like blue or red or something like that. Uh, a lot of those are missing sometimes, so you can try to find the arts and crafts store. It'll be a little bit more pricey, but Walmart should have some stuff. So as you can see, this is just the second item I have. Uh, it's paper towel, nothing too fancy, but this is what I use when I uh, first open up a brand new paint marker and you have to get the paint going somehow and you have to shake it up. But besides that, you need to also push down on it and instead of you, me using my hands and shaking it, uh, I just decide to shake it up a bit and then push down on there so I don't, so I can keep the dirtiness down to a minimum. So there you go. Paper towel, you need that. All right, so after you've got your paper towel and after you've got your markers and you got the colors that you selected out, grab your grip tape, you're ready to get started. Pull the image up, let's go. So a problem that I've ran into during past drawings is that I would draw something way too big and it's just not proportioned correctly. So for example, you could be drawing a left arm of some figure and then you draw the right arm and realize that you're like, wow, I made that way too big and the drawing looks weird. Don't worry, you can fix something like this. All you need to do is just draw the other side bigger um, just make sure you don't go too big that again it falls off the sides of it You can work with some mistakes that you do But if you do it too much the drawing may end up just being bad and you can just restart on a different sheet of grip tape So it's not a big deal, but just know that you can cover up old mistakes with more pain as long as you let it dry So there you go All right, so at this point I have my outline. I'm now going to begin coloring in everything There's my finger wiggling She is. This is my uh, my take on that little spray that you guys saw of Tracer from Overwatch. I decided to mix up the colors a little bit because one, my black marker was dying out and I didn't have an extra one. So I had to make do and I looked up that her hair was brown and I made sure that it was before I did this. But um, I, I decided, just to, it, plus it made it a little bit more colorful too. And also you probably noticed that I did blue in the background. Um, it's One, it's my favorite color. Two, it kind of mimics her little zip thing that she does in the game. For those of you who play it, uh, she zips around and goes fast and she leaves like a blue trail behind her. So I thought that matched. And then of course I used the uh, kind of orange tint for her goggles. But there you go. This is my take on it. It was a, I did this a little bit faster than I wanted to. Um, if I had more time to spend on it, I probably would. I may go back and touch it up. But this is it. This is how it turned out. Let's, we'll go back and uh, reiterate some problems that I may have gone through um, that I mentioned before. So I actually ended up messing up the first time I did it. And luckily I had two sheets of grip tape here. If I would have messed up this one, that would have sucked. This video wouldn't be happening. Again, like I mentioned during the video, you can always 
start small and grow big. So what I did is I just made sure I made the head that I wanted to, and I just made the hand really small, and I was like, okay, that's too little, and I gradually got bigger with it, but yeah, there you go. Oh, and another thing I messed up with was her mouth too, and that was just because I was trying to get it done quicker, but, but I ended up, uh, trying to paint over it when it wasn't fully done and it made the silver look a little dark and it just looked like she had like a big stain around her lips. So eventually I got it to turn out okay-ish. Uh, this is not my favorite one that I've ever done, but it definitely makes me happy with the outcome of uh, the proportions being right, which I've said a thousand times in this video, but uh, I'm happy with it. So there you guys go. I hope this helped out with any questions you may have had with doing this. It's really fun to do. It's very therapeutic to do in my opinion. And uh, it makes your skateboard look cool, most importantly. So that's all I have. Um, if you guys want to check out some of my other grip art videos, you can just search it in the little search bar, Casey Beckler grip art, they'll all pop up. But I'll also leave a link to a Gengar that I did from Pokemon and a Super Saiyan Gohan from Dragon Ball Z that I did in one video. It was for a Christmas gift for my friend. Uh, that'll be at the end of the video. You can click on it, check it out. And if you have any questions, make sure to leave them below. Uh, I'll try to get back to some that I think are worth responding to if uh, I feel like it was a good point to make and you'll see my reply from it. Um, I'm not an expert on any of this stuff, but it, this is just my take on it from doing it for so long and not that often, but enough that I feel like I have enough experience to talk a bit about it. But that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm done doing this. This took a lot of time, but it was very, it was very nice to do. I'm done. Should I try juggling? I always try juggling at the end of these videos. I threw it and it hit one and went that way. I'm done. Goodbye. <laughs>